Yet again, new enemy. The one I accidentally spoiled. Squog. Introduced in Chapter 7. Nope, it's not even a Squog. It's a Squinker. It's the strongest and meanest member of the Squig family. It's a... And guess what? It's a girl! The only girl Squig... The only girl Squigglet family out, out there. Max HP is 15 and attack is 4. Squinkers will spit rocks at you. The rocks come at you fast. Don't just stand there or you'll get hit in the face. And how do I know it's a girl? Get the card was the basic knowledge of that. You! Get away from me! Even 15 HP is not enough for me. Oh my word, that was way meant. Oh dang me. When I do this in a montage format, I'm definitely. New enemies again! Oh my word. At times I even forget how many new enemies there are. A Super Striker. Yet again, we'll say, introduced in Chapter 8. These superstars of the pitch have cleats of solid gold. Max HP is 16, attack is 5, defense is 1. The way this athlete puts the shell right in your neck is truly inspiring. I hear super strikers never miss their goal. And yeah, I can barely damage them enough. That I didn't even do. Shroom Shake. Going to use it. Ah! I missed. almost on low HP and I missed the shrimp shake entirely. Room 70 where things get harder from here. The fleet card. Things will only take longer. And for my sake I'm going to do 10 more rooms because of the video split. Remember this for later. This flippy pixel is really good at finding hidden goodies. Without you, he would never have left that outhouse. Flim is not there, but I am gonna heal right now with a with a shroom shake. I almost said super shroom shake. I'm sort of surprised about how well I'm doing. Yet again, no mind, those are not new. I'm gonna say yet again, new enemy, but it isn't. Oh my word, I got. I got the key already. I got another first time key. I forgot I even had the card. Guys, thing yank. Yeah! Moon flex. Yay! Ow! Bird shell. Nope. I've seen them drop those before and I'm not laughing. Because I've seen them drop it before. And I've honestly thought curd shells were rocks in. But they aren't. Are these guys new? No, they are not. Ah, no! Dang it! Nailed it. We're about to be introduced for, to the final time of the pure heart is mentioned. 
the, how the fourth pure heart was gotten. It's actually very cool. If I'm remembering it correct. Oh my word. Poison shrimp. No, thank you. I actually didn't know I had two free slots on my item. You know, easily throw that poison shroom away. New enemy. These guys are introduced in chapter 8. A copta. They a curious organism that flies through the air in dimensions. XHP is 10. Maybe I was wrong then. No, I'm not. And attack is 3. It's hard to track as it occasionally flips. Just stay after it and hit it repeatedly when you can. My word, this makes me wonder how many times I'm gonna get this. Gosh darn it, and how many times I'm gonna get the Volt Room. Did I get the key yet? No, but I do know where it is. No, never mind, there's one more left. Wherever it is. There you are. Now I'll go through this pipe. And go through the door. How did I forget all about these guys? They even have their cards. A rough puff. They are introduced in chapter 7, obviously. It floats in the sky a little like a little grumpy thundercloud. XHP is 15 and attack is 4. It will shock you if you get too close. You'd better keep your distance until you see an opening to attack. Do you think it's related to the cloud Blacket 2 rides around on? No! It's not at all related. The guy even had his card. Even though, oh, there we go. I was really hoping I wouldn't see this, but now's the time for, for you guys to see it. Even though you're going to see it again. Your HP is low. You're critical. Use a shrimp shake or other item from the menu to restore your HP. You can all, or you can always go back to the flip side. Yada yada yada. Catch card again! Oh my word! I'm getting rid of this. I to hear, hear that annoying beeping for a while. Oh my word, there's so many of them. I'm actually gonna purposely do this. I'll be fine! Of course, it's, the, it's always the last one. Got him. Screw it, I'm gonna use an item now. <clears throat> Even though I have a life shroom, so I could just avoid it. Avoid using an item and, you, and have the life shroom be used, but trust me when I say that is not a good idea. Honey jar is what I'm gonna use instead. <laughs> Final pure heart for it being shown in yet again a new enemy. Because it is the Boom Boxer family. This is a Blast Boxer. Max HP is 16 and attack is 6. We, we are just able to do enough damage to these guys. Get startled by his own wild noises. I wonder if its neighbors ever complain about the noise. Uh, 
Well, I can avoid it if I can. I'm going to avoid it when I can. And I sure can. I'm pretty sure I'm close to another level up. Oh my word, that face. I actually have not seen that face. This I'm pretty sure is going to lead to another magic lot that we have not seen yet. Yep, it is. Blue magic lots, known for their highest HP. item. Just barely. That's a blue magic blot. These mad mages live in the space between dimensions. Max HP is 25 and attack is 4. They only appeared long enough to hurl spells at you. They use magic so I assume yeah 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 is known for their highest HP like always. The red ones I think have, one, have 16 HP. Oh my word. Oh my word, come on. Oh my goodness. Nah, I couldn't even avoid that. Oh my word, that Are you kidding me? There. That's all of them. Spoiling it now, but there is a certain magic plot that does 10 damage. Those guys are ridiculous. Another new enemy! As if one as if there weren't enough of these. A Chromba. Introduced in chapter 8. It clones itself constantly to overwhelm its enemies. It max HP is 10 and attack is 3. If you defeat the main one, the clones will die. The primary one has slightly different moves, yada yada yada. For fun, you can let it clone and then stomp on the main. Yeah. Or you can use an item on them. But there's more than just that. And I am going to do a just for fun thing of letting them split. I'm going to try to catch this guy by catch card since I can. I'm gonna do it now actually. Yay! Well that was a fake one. And actually, I said chroma and chromba and I was wrong on that. It, it is called a chromiba. I always mess that up. Because as a kid, I actually thought it was just because I would, I would mess that up all the time. I gotta just wait for this guy to come down. Oh my word, if it comes down at all. I can't. Anything, I'm gonna have to use Boomer. Nope, that doesn't even work. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Still not gonna edit that though. Skillipits again. And I think there's also gonna be another kind. I gotta flip though. Are they all on the bottom? Nope. There's the spiky skillipit. It's made entirely of bones. They are they are skillipit leaders. This one has learned to flip between dimensions. XHP is 10 and attack is 2 defenses too. It has spikes so don't jump on it. 
It's said that the not only the foulest skeletons are promoted to spiky skeletons. And I'll spoil it because this is technically optional. You can get the spiky skeletons card by chapter 7-3, I think. It's either that or in chapter 7-4. Either one or the other. By chest. Pretty sure it's chapter 7-3 though. Room 80. Yeah, that's Cut card and flip. One more room to go with a card in it before we are able to be introduced to the most insane thing they have, and then, and I love it. Love it so much that I'm doing this put it on the trials twice, to do, and am not arguing with the fact of that. Kutch. This hard-hitting pixel can shatter yellow blocks, but he's a real people pixel. I actually one time when the door accidentally when Flim was here and I was like, No! I missed Flim! And I was super mad because I had no items, so I knew I had the game over and I was super mad. I was, I think, 12 years old, and I threw the wheel roll against the wall so many times. Fun fact about me that I, that I would be surprised that my Wii remote didn't break, but two of them did. So much that the batteries couldn't even pop in. Greetings, name's Flip, yada yada yada. Super Shroom Shake and the Life Shroom. Life Shrooms are always welcome in my part, so that's why I'm going to buy them after I do this. Unless I do have eight here. Oh, I can buy them. Good, good, good. I'll do that then. Super Shroom Shake and the Life Shroom. Things are getting more crazy. And Life Shrooms are at full price. So are Super Shroom Shakes. Sort of crazy on that. If I am not wrong, there is a new enemy here. Not at all what I expected, though. This bizarre beast is called a Hologarithm. They are introduced in Chapter 8. They are strange on so many levels. Max HP is unknown, attack is 4. You already know the rest. Hologarithms often drop many coins, but so you may want to hunt them if you're broke. I love that line. You may want to hunt them down if you're broke. Ah! Oh wow, now I gotta level up. That is re very relieving. And, like, and even more relieving that these hog rhythms didn't have the key, unless there was one more. Not seeing. Oh dang it. There we go. Please. Yes, thank you. I was like, please don't let this guy have the key and let one of these guys have it. Don't oh, have to go all the way up. Shroom shake. I'm gonna use that when I need it the most. A block block from that guy. Nope. Nope! It's not uncommon, but yet again, it's something that I've not seen before. I'm so glad this, is, this was something I'm doing optionally because I didn't want to be this OP against the final boss. <laughs> 